Alrighty guys, so I am back with you on Photillustrator Tutorials and today I'm going to give you a new tutorial on how I mask out objects in Photoshop. And I'm going to show you the way that I probably use the most and it's an old school way. But before uh, I get started on that, I wanted to share a couple things with you. One, I've been gone a long time. I was looking at my YouTube channel and it's been nine months since I posted the last tutorial and that's way too long and that's crazy. Had a lot of stuff going on, jobs coming up, moving, just a lot of stuff. And uh, in the old computer, it was a bit slow. So hopefully, got a new computer, hopefully it's rocking. Uh, so this tutorial you'll be able to find on uh, YouTube, on my channel there, Photillustrator. Obviously, go to my website site at photillustrator.com. Check out some of the goodies there. I just updated my website last night. Uh, I have a new gallery here. Uh, as you can see, I love the way the images are displayed. And when you click on them, it takes you to a very large formatted image and shows you some of my work. Also, you can go to the resources for photographers. Have a lot of good stuff on that page as well. And then uh, you can check out this tutorial again in the tutorial section there of the blog also follow me on Instagram I love Instagram I use it probably more than anything it's my favorite so follow me on Instagram at Foot Illustrator you can obviously go to the Facebook page at Foot Illustrator and like that as well uh, now before I get started with the actual tutorial as I always do I like to profile another uh, photographer that I find inspiration with and who is doing awesome work. And today that would be Clinton Lofthouse. I, I got turned on to him a, like a month or two ago and really dig his work. I mean, this guy does some really super awesome uh, composites and, and really clean work. And so I, I just wanted to profile him and, and share him with you. You can go to his uh, website at ClintonLofthousePhotography.com. He also has some great tutorials. Uh, he has kind of a movie effect, which I really dig and would like to incorporate somehow into my work. I'm not sure if it works 100% with it, but I really dig his work, so check him out. All right, so let's get into today's uh, tutorial of masking out an object with my old school way. Now this is old school. I have a couple ways of doing it. This is the way that I use probably 80 to 85% of the time. And so basically you just add a layer mask here onto uh, this person. I grab my uh, brush tool, 100% opacity, 100% flow. This is gonna be a pretty quick tutorial. I'm not gonna cut everything out, um, but come in here quite close and so then on your brush you want to bring this is the key all right so if you make it too soft so if we go in about 37 percent here and we make it too soft we got to have it on black if we make it too soft it's going to fuzz out the edge too much all right if we make it too hard at a hundred percent it's not going to look realistic it's too sharp of an edge okay so what I have found for me that works well for what the kind of work I do is if I hit it at about 82% hardness, that's a pretty good area there. So basically I just go through this whole piece here and when you have a straight line, you can click on the top edge there, hold shift, bottom edge, and that'll give you that really straight line all the way down there. And then when we get down to fingers and that type of thing, uh, the key here is when you get into this little corner here, what I do is I pick the straight edge. I come in here and come up around and I'll just go bleed into that straight edge. I'm not too concerned about that. And then I'll push X on a Mac and go in and fill that back in. Push X to get it back to black. And then I continue on down here with the uh, hand the reason I'm showing you this particular one is because this is a, a project that I, I really need to get finished. I mean, I've been working on this thing. I haven't really been working on it 
otherwise it would be finished but uh this thing has been sitting on the table for way too long probably a good two months two to three months all right so go back in here and the other stuff here just like that i'll worry about the other stuff later so again when you come down here and here's the other thing when you're masking out something when i started this whole uh thing i thought that i had to be balls on accurate i mean i thought i had to follow that edge you know precisely uh but what i've kind of figured out in the in doing this a lot of times is that i don't really care Okay, so you can get too crazy with it. You can lose your edge too too much. And then again, here where this corner happens, just carry it on in, uh, come on out, and then you can push X, bring it to white, and then fill that back in. And so that's the way you can do that. And you can see here I'm at a 500% uh, percent zoom on this image. So what you're seeing here is a lot more detailed than what you'll be seeing in the actual image in real life okay the other thing that you can do to make this a little bit easier since we're dealing with vertical lines and we and it's easier to pull a vertical line than it is a horizontal line is to push r and then rotate and then bring our uh, brush back on course here and then just start again bleed into there grab your white fix it and then come on back out and and then here you can also use the shift tool or shift option and just carry a, a straighter line you just want to make sure that you don't get any hard corners in that line as well so push white and then come on out and fix that and then back and then here we have some nice straight lines so we can do that So I hope you're getting the idea of here, kind of how what I'm talking about. And then black. And this is what I do. This is all I do. I mean, every day, all day. Just masking out stuff. I got into this, you know. I you see the great, the guys doing some great work out there, like like the Clinton uh, loft houses or the. Dave Hills or Grimes and, you know, all these guys. And you think, how awesome is that? How awesome would that be? And then you get into doing it a lot more. And especially when you do your own editing. And I don't know, you know, out of these guys I've talked about, I, I, honestly, I don't know who does their own editing and who doesn't do their own ad editing. Uh, but when you do your own editing, it's a lot less glamorous than it seems. And most of the time I try to pull a straight line and not do this, you know, painterly motion too much, especially on these really straight lines like this. Again, I'm not too concerned about bleeding into the image too much because nobody would ever know. And when you do this back and forth job, I've gotten pretty good at it, but you can also... It, it can also look kind of funky on the lines and not as straight as they should be. So I really try to pull a very straight line, one motion all the way through when you have a straight line like that. Now, when you get into uh, something a little bumpier like this, you can certainly do more of a painterly effect to it because you're not wor so worried about pulling that absolute straight line. You just want to keep it convincing as much as possible. So anyway, that's how I do this. I'm going to, let's go up and work on. Now, when I get into real quick, before I get into the hair part of it, when I get into this area, I use typically will use, especially with like this, when you see the really pointy edges like this i'll use a pin tool uh, to do my masking and i'll cover that on 
uh, maybe the next episode or the one after that. But uh, I'll show you how I mask with a pen tool. I do that. <clears throat> I have masked out full figures with a pen tool, but for some reason, I really just like the, the brush, you know, putting a layer of mask on and doing the brush uh, for that. And so when it gets into the hair, here's what I do. Uh, and I'll create an opacity, you know, in the 30s and just come in and knock out the hair here and we'll fix that hair later in another tutorial. And I'll show you with the same person in the other tutorial so you have a good idea of what I'm talking about. So uh, just keep on knocking that out. You want to basically remove as much of that background as possible. And so that's how I do that. All right, so that's how I mask out objects. I'm gonna uh, cut the video here, finish this up, and then pick it up, and we'll show you the finished product of this masking out. So, hold on just one second. All right, so I just finished up the masking of this person in this composite and this is what we got to all right so it looks really good now uh that took me a couple you know a little bit longer than a couple of seconds obviously but uh after you practice it quite a bit it you get really fast at it so uh, even with the area here where i was uh this area here with all the little sharp edges i still use the brush tool just to kind of see how it worked it's easier with the pen tool but you can do it with a brush tool I did everything on this composite with a brush tool uh, later on uh, obviously you see that I got some things here to fix with just the thumb the, bottom of the shoe things like that obviously the hair uh, I'll cover the hair in a later tutorial but that is how I mask out an object using using the brush tool in Photoshop so Hope you guys learned something from this. Go out, give it a shot, give it a whack, see if you like it, let me know. And I'll see you next time on Photillustrator Tutorials.